Okay, let's begin. Hello, hello, good evening, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Welcome to this English class here on Zoom. Welcome, everybody. Hello, hello, how are you? Do you hear me nice and clear? Yes? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. Let's begin with today's class. As you may know, we're going to have our class number seven today. Yes, we're working with section three. Uh, what's your neighborhood like? And we're going to work today with class number seven. The topic is going to be uh, today we're going to have quantifier with how many and how much. Okay, so this is pre-intermediate module number two. And welcome, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Do you have any question before we begin with this class? Everything is perfect. Yes. Wonderful. As I may know, it's raining in some places, right? Here in San Salvador, it's raining. I don't know somewhere else if that is happening but here it's it's raining now okay so um thank you so much for being here okay well we're gonna start with this one neighborhoods Anna Cristina hello good evening how are you mm, uh, I'm fine that's good thank you Good evening. Nice to have you, Anna. Do me a favor. Read read the information, this vocabulary, please. Anna, read downtown. Uh, down, downtown Main Street. Very good. Continue. The suburbs. The suburb. A shopping, a shopping district. Very good. A college campus. Very good. A business district. Exactly. A, a theater district. Very good. An industrial district. A yes. small town. Thank you so much. Very good, Anna. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So here we have these places. What are these places? Janessi, what are these places? Uh, the city. Makira. Oh, in the city, right? Yes. Are, are these like a small places or big places, uh, Janessi? Big places. Exactly right. So here we have big places, right? Let's say a college campus is something usually big, an industrial district, right? Um, a shopping district, the suburbs, the theater, a theater district, a business district here, downtown or main street, and also here we have a small town. Okay. So do you understand this vocabulary here in this picture? Yes. Oh, um... Okay. Perfect. Okay. Uh, what is... What is Main Street? What is that? Main Street. Um, like uh, the principal street of a city. Oh, yeah, right. That's right. Yeah, the Main mm -hmm. Street is like a, a big street, right? Like a, a, a very, like, a quite important street in, in, in a city. Very good. What about the suburbs? What is the meaning of the suburbs? Mm -hmm. Um, it's like a place where there is a lot of houses. Okay. Como colonias. Yes, there there are there are a lot of houses, right? Yes, very very good. So the suburbs is like is something like um like here in El Salvador we call them colonias, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, neighbors, neighborhoods, uh, oh. a small, I don't know. Let's say uh, places with a bunch of houses. Very good. Then we have a shopping district. What is this thing? A shopping district. Uh, it's a place where there is a lot of uh, stores. 
every yeah. time close um exactly exactly yeah. right so there are some areas where we have find a bunch of stores uh different kind of stores very good a college campus what is this uh is the i no sé cómo decirlo <laughs> um yes um well is all the facility of the college Exactly. So it's the facility, right? That's that's mm -hmm. the meaning. The facility of of a or the building of oh. a college. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much. As you may know, as you may know, like um. Uh, in the United States, we have this word college and we have university. Okay, a college is usually something um smaller, yeah. And a university is usually a large institution. Okay, yeah. So that is that is the difference. Very good. Um, what about a business district? What is this? What's a business district? Uh-huh, pretty. What is a business district? Uh, I think um, about Bolsa de Valores. Yes, right. Somehow, yes. Yes, it's like this area where we have a bunch of businesses, let's say, right, with a bunch of offices. Uh, Jacqueline, thank you. about business district right oh yeah oh uh, i think uh, it is like an avenue with a lot of buildings of uh, different companies uh, like yeah that? that is true that is true like a, like an avenue or like a street with a bunch of buildings related to a uh, business offices as well okay yes perfect wonderful then we have a theater district a theater district what is this a theater district hollywood street oh yeah exactly hollywood why right? like in the u.s uh you can yeah. see this uh, this uh, theater district very good an industrial district what is this about what is an industrial uh, district? Maybe there are a lot of factories. Yeah, exactly right. That's right. A lot of factories and industrial things like that. Very good. And then we have a small town. Like here in El Salvador, we have some small towns. Uh, a lot of them. I think if you... Uh, if you ever taken this Ruta de las Flores, that's the way they call them, right? So we can find different towns, small towns. Okay. Question for you, Daniela. What type of businesses are or aren't found in these neighborhoods? You see these neighbors, neighborhoods here? What kind of businesses are or aren't found in these neighborhoods? Um, in downtown, maybe um stores. Um, the suburbs. I don't know if our business there because it's just houses. Yeah, but maybe a maybe as a small store, right? Yeah. Or a shopping district. Probably many mm -hmm. stores. Exactly. For everything. A college campus, maybe um restaurant inside the campus. Probably, right? On and cafeterias as well. District. Because it's a business district. Oh yes. Um <laughs> 
Uh, theater district. Uh, a movie theater, etc. Exactly. Or uh, a industry district. District. Uh, maybe like um, Jacqueline said, industrial. Uh, sorry, factories, many factories. That's right. And a small town. <sighs> No me acuerdo cómo se decía cuando decíamos muchas despensitas, cuando de, que aquí se dice despensa. Like a grocery store? Maybe grocery stores. Yeah, that's right. Thank you so much. Very good. Marcos, good evening. Welcome. The second question is for you. Which areas do you visit often? Thanks. Um, um, good evening. Nice to um, have you. Downtown. Okay. In the city. Um, in the, um, it's a city on the campus. No, no, we don't have that one. The college yeah. campus. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you, Sandra Noemi. Hello. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Nice to have you. Which areas do you hardly ever visit? Uh, in my case, I visit a shopping district. Oh, okay. So you don't go there. I'm sorry. You, you don't go there. Like, which areas do you hardly ever? Uh, do, you, do you understand hardly ever? Uh, I think it's a uh, usualmente visitas. Or oh, no, que no, it's, nunca it's, visite. it's casi, right? Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like maybe 10%. Um, mm -hmm. um, uh, sería Tom Tom. Oh, downtown. Oh, that's yeah. Great. So you don't go downtown? No. Not very often. Okay. Thank you so much, Sandra. Very good. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to work with this conversation, as you may see on the top. It says, it's very convenient. Okay. We're going to have very and also Alana. Okay. Um, Edith, Carolina. Hello, Edith. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. A little hard. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Look at the picture, please, and describe the picture. Um, I see a women in probably I watch TV. Oh, she she is watching stop. TV. Okay, she's watching TV. Uh, programs. Or news. Probably the news, okay. And where is this lady? Where is this woman, Edith? Is she at work? Is she at school? Mm -hmm. Probably in the house. Okay, in her house. Okay, and what is she wearing? I'm sorry. What is she wearing? Is she wearing a hat? Is she wearing a dress? Ah, she is wearing. What is she wearing? Yes. And sweater and the pants. Okay. Hey, um, I drink a coffee. Oh, she's drinking coffee. Edith, is she drinking coffee? She's uh, drink, drinking coffee. 
Probably right. What is the name? So these puns, these puns, right? Uh, are are for work? Are these puns for work, Edith? No. Okay. What is another way of saying this? Um, I sleeping. I sleeping. Okay. What is the name of the clothes that you wear when you go to bed? Mm -hmm. When you go to bed, oh. you, you usually wear, well, people, we usually wear clothes. Right? And pyjamas. Oh, pyjamas. So these, so she's wearing pyjamas. Very good. And what is the area at home? What is this area? Is this the bathroom? Is this the kitchen? Edith, what is the area here? Um, like, is this is this the bathroom? Living room? No, it's just living room. Thank you. <laughs> it's the living room, exactly right. Probably it's the <laughs> living room. Very good. What is the name of this object here? What is in front, Edith? What is in front of this lady? It's in front of a table. In front of a table, very good. And what is, where is sitting? Where is sitting this lady? What is the object? A sofa. A sofa, very good. Okay, thank you. Do you like, do you like coffee, Edith? Oh, yes, oh. I love it. How often, how often do you drink coffee? Um... Five or more every every day. Okay, so one cup of coffee or five cup of coffees? Five, five cup of coffees. Yes. Five cups. Yes. Oh, that's a lot of coffee. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. <laughs> with with pastry, right? With a big semi tarta, right? Okay. Oh yeah. Wow, okay. Or just the coffee. Just the coffee? Oh, that's good. Thank yeah. you so much. Okay, we're going to yes. listen to this conversation. I want you to pay attention to the audio and also to this uh, conversation. Let me check the audio really quick. Give me a minute. Okay, here we go. Let's listen and read. Page 53, exercise 8. Conversation. It's very convenient. Listen and practice. How do you like your new apartment, Alana? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much traffic? Yeah, there's a lot. But I don't drive, so it's okay. Oh, that's right. Is there much crime in the area? No, it's pretty safe. The difference is the noise. Really? Is there a lot of noise? There's a lot on the weekend from the Italian restaurant downstairs. Oh, that's too bad. But is the food at the restaurant good? It's incredible. Hey, would you like to have dinner there on Saturday? Yes, I love Italian food. Page 53, Exercise 8. Conversation. It's very convenient. Listen and practice. How do you like your new apartment, Alana? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much traffic? Yeah, there's a lot. But I don't drive, so it's okay. Oh, that's right. Is there much crime in the area? No, it's pretty safe. The difference is the noise. Really? Is there a lot of noise? There's a lot on the weekend from the Italian restaurant downstairs. Oh, that's too bad. But is the food at the restaurant good? It's incredible. Hey, would you like to have dinner there on Saturday? Yes, I love Italian food. Thank you so much. Uh, Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez, hello, good evening. Welcome. Hello, Jorge. 
Good evening. Nice to have you. One more time. Okay, no. Okay. Jacqueline? Jacqueline, yes. Vanessa. Thank you. What is this conversation about, Jacqueline? Um, the conversation was about where, she, where Alana lives and how is it and if there is a lot of noise or and she said she told him that there are a lot of traffic near of her her apartment and actually in the downtown downstairs uh, there are um, an italian restaurant okay very good thank you so much um jacqueline do you live in a quiet place or in a noisy place in a noisy place because next to my house there are there there is a a store and and across from as well oh yeah so there is a lot of people passing by right yes yes a lot right. of people okay perfect thank you so much All right okay that is true right so we're talking about like how is the place where you live right as you may know we have the advantages and we have disadvantages like not there is no place perfect okay so and here we're working about three important things what are those three important things claudia that alana mentioned about her new apartment what are those three important things um it's downtown Okay. So that is very convenient for her. And another important thing is that it's pretty safe. Oh, that's good. And uh, mm, Um, I'm not sure if if she um it's important for her the the noise. Okay, very good. So, uh, is the place noisy, Claudia? No, it isn't. But um, just on weekend, uh, the Italian restaurant makes. Um, a lot of noise, right? Exactly, exactly. And what about the people? Are there a lot of people passing by? Um, no, because I remember that it's really quiet. Or, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yes, you're mistaken because he says like, oh, really? Is there a lot of noise? Oh, and she says like, oh, it's, it's uh, no, it's pretty safe. The difference is the ah, noise. Yes, yeah, so that yes. means it's the opposite, right? So the place is quite noisy, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Very, very good. Okay, so save the conversation. Guarde la conversation, please. Tome la screenshot. Voy a abrir los breaker rooms. I'm going to open the breaker rooms a few times so you can practice with your partner. Do you have any question about vocabulary from here? Any question about vocabulary from this conversation? Everything is perfect? Everything is good? Okay. So uh, please send the conversation um, on WhatsApp so we can have it. Voy a abrir los breaker rooms so you can practice with your partners. Si alguien no entendió lo que vamos a hacer, let me know. Okay. Voy a abrir los breaker rooms so you can practice with your partner. In the sala principal, we're going to have Edwin Benjamin Sanchez Portillo, Janessi Alexandra Lopez, Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez, and Maria Vilma Cortez. You three, I'm sorry, you four, stay in the main room. 
the rest of you, please se unen a los breakout rooms so you can practice with your partner. Yes? Do you understand, Freddy? Yes, teacher. Wonderful. Let's begin. Okay, over there you have the breakout rooms available. So you can join uh, Cindy, Freddy, Jacqueline, Jocelyn, Elisa, Santos, Jenny, Anna, Evers, Liliana, okay, Blanca, Tiffany, Juan, Marcos, and Ronald, please join. Join the breakout room so you can practice conversation with your partners. Okay, thank you so much. Pretty good. Marcos and Juan Jose, please join the breakout rooms. Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so people, um, no, 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 Alejo Genes. Come get back, get back. Okay. So um for the ones that um stay here in the main room. Oh, jeez, uh, what's me? Milena, hello, hello. Hello, Milena. Uh, Edwin? No, okay. Maria Vilma? Yes, teacher. Thank you, Tiffany Guadalupe. Hello. Thank you, Tiffany. Ustedes, Barry and Alana, that is you, Maria Vilma, y luego you change roles. Ready? Let's begin. Maria, usted comienza, okay? Ah, yo, okay. Yes. How do you like your new new apartment, Alana? Um, I I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown is there much traffic? Yeah, there's a lot, but I don't drive, so it's okay. Oh, that's right. Is there much cream in the air? No, it's very safe. And the difference is the noise. Really? Is there a lot of noise? There's a lot on the weekends from the Italian restaurant downstairs. Oh, that's too bad. But is the food at the restaurant good? It's incredible. Uh, hey, what you like? Hey, Hey, well, you like to have dinner there on Saturday? Yes, I love Italian food. Now change roles, please. Tiffany, you begin. Y ustedes, uh, Alem, Alana, Maria Vilma. Yes? Okay. Uh, how do you like your new apartment, Alana? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown, is there much traffic? Yeah, there's a lot. But I don't drive, so it's okay. Oh, that's right. Is there much crime in the area? No, it's pretty safe. The difference is the noise. Really? Is there a lot of noise? There's a lot on the weekend from the Italian restaurant. Don't start. Oh, that's too bad. But is the food at the restaurant good? It's incredibly. 
Hey, would you like to have dinner there on Saturday? Yes, I love Italian food. Thank you so much. Very good. We have a few mistakes in pronunciation, okay? Uh, that I think that you can improve with practice. Pronunciation mistakes, we improve them with practice. That means you listen and repeat, right? For example, how often do you like your new apartment? Alana, I love it. It's downtown. So it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much traffic? Yeah, there is a lot. Okay? Yes? Uh, Janessi, hello. And Milena de Los Angeles, can you participate? Edwin? Yes. Jorge? Yes. So thank you, Jorge. You're Barry. And Janessi, you are Alana. Ready? Let's begin. Thank you. I'm Barry. Yes, Jorge. Okay. How do you like new your new apartment, Alana? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much traffic? Yeah, there is a lot, but I don't need to drive, so it's okay. Oh, that's right. Is there much crime in the area? No, it's pretty safe. The difference is the noise. Really? Is there a lot of noise? There is a lot on the weekend from the Italian restaurant downstairs. Oh, that's too bad. But is the food at the restaurant good? It's incredible. Hey, would you like to have a dinner there on Saturday? Yes, I love Italian food. Thank you so much to two of you. No mistakes on that one. Great pronunciation as well. Thank you. Let me tell you the attendance really quick. Um, when you hear your name, say present or I'm here. Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Present teacher. Thank you. Good evening. Nice to have you. Blanca Isolina Guzman Cruz. Present. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Briseida Janet Garcia de Crespin. Briseida Janet Garcia de Crespin. No, she isn't. Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you and welcome. Claudia Janessi Flores de Galdames. Present. Thank you and good evening. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Resinos. Hi, hey, teacher. I'm here. Good evening. Nice to have you. Evers Ernesto Perdomo Alvarez. Present teacher. Nice to have you. Welcome. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much for being here. Edwin Benjamin Sanchez Portillo. Edwin Benjamin, I said Edwin is here, but he doesn't. I'm so, I think he has a problem. Edwin, can you write in the chat so uh, we can have a record of you being here? Yes. Can you write in the chat that you are here? Uh, Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. No, she isn't. Okay. And Freddy Alberto Paz Carrillo. Teacher, Present she teacher. write in the chat, Elisa. Oh, she wrote in the chat. Okay, let me see. Oh, Elisa, thank you so much. I got you. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Ileana Maria Alvarado Menjiva. It's okay, teacher. Oh, Freddy? It's okay. Oh, yes. I got you. Oh, okay. I got you, Freddy. Okay. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Thank you so much. Uh, Ileana? Uh, Mariel Alvarado Mengibar? No, she isn't. Uh, Janessi Alexandra Lopez Portillo? Good evening. Present. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez Sanchez? Present, teacher. Thank you. Nice to have you. Janie Lisset Escobar Lucero. Present. Good evening. Nice to have you. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present. Welcome. Nice to have you. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. 
José Alcides Leiva Ibarra. No, he isn't. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Present teacher. Good evening. Good. Welcome. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Present teacher. Thank you so much for being here. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. Present teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. Good evening. Present. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. Milena, I'm sorry, Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Welcome. Milena de Los Angeles Aragón Pleites. Milena de Los Angeles Aragón Pleites. No, she isn't. Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you so much for being here. Sandra Noemi Pimentel Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you and welcome. Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you, Santos. It's nice to have you. Um, Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Méndez. Present. Thank you and welcome. Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you. It's nice to have you. Jenny Marisol Hernández de Guevara. Present teacher. <clears throat> Present. 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 Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, let me check the chat here. Oh, just Elisa. Perfect. Good. Okay. We're going to have one more time. If you participate jumps in here, I will play one more time the audio so you can, uh, again, listen pronunciation and then I will have a few of you participating. So let's listen. Page 53. Exercise 8. Conversation. It's very convenient. Listen and practice. How do you like your new apartment, Alana? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much traffic? Yeah, there's a lot. But I don't drive, so it's okay. Oh, that's right. Is there much crime in the area? No, it's pretty safe. The difference is the noise. Really? Is there a lot of noise? There's a lot on the weekend from the Italian restaurant downstairs. Oh, that's too bad. But is the food at the restaurant good? It's incredible. Hey, would you like to have dinner there on Saturday? Yes, I love Italian. Italian food. Daniela, you are going to be Alana. Claudia, you are Barry. Ready? Let's begin. How do you like your new apartment, Alana? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much traffic? Yeah, there's a lot, but I don't drive, so it's okay. Oh, that's right. Is there much crime in the area? No, it's pretty safe. The difference is the noise. Really? Is there a lot of noise? There's a lot on the weekends from the Italian restaurants downstairs. Oh, that's too bad. But is the food at the restaurant good? It's incredible. Hey, would you like to have dinner there on Saturday? Yes. I love Italian food. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Great job. Sandra Noemi Pimentel, you are Barry. And Ana Cristina Peña de Paz, you are Alana. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. How do you like your new apartment, Alana? I love it. It's downtown. So it's very convenient. Downtown? There is there much traffic? Yeah, there's a lot, but I don't drive, so it's okay. Oh, that's right. There is there much crime in the area? No, it's pretty safe. The difference is the noise. Really, there is there a lot of noise? There's a lot on the weekend from the Italian restaurant on times. Oh, thanks. Too bad. But, but is the food at the restaurant good? It's incredible. Hey, would you like to have dinner there on Saturday? 
Yes, I love Italian food. It was very good, the two of you. And also, Ana Cristina, very good. I love the passes you were doing when you were reading. And that was very good, Ana. Okay. Great job. A few mistakes on pronunciation, Sandra and also Ana. But you did it very good. Thank you so much. Keep working like that because you're doing it very good. Marcos, you are going to be Barry, Alana, that's you, Freddy. Okay, let's begin. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. I am Barry, oh. No, Alana. Yes, Marcos, you okay, begin. Okay. okay, I am Barry. How do you like your new apartment, Alana? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much traffic? Yeah, there's a lot, but I know, right? So it's okay. Oh, that's right. Is there much crime in the area? No, it's pretty safe. The difference is the noise. Really? Is there a lot of noise? There's a lot of the weekend from the Italian restaurant downstairs. Oh, that's too bad. But is the food at the restaurant good? It's incredible. Hey, would you like to have dinner there on Saturday? Yes, I love Italian food. Nice. Thank you. That was very good, the two of you. Great job. Very good. The passes were correctly. The flow, the speed, everything was perfect. Very good. A few little details. Okay, but wonderful. Janessi, you are going to be Barry. And Jocelyn, Tatiana, you are Alana. Ready? Let's begin. Um, how do you like your new apartment, Alana? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there as much traffic? Yeah, there are a lot, but I don't drive. So it's okay. Oh, that's right. Is there much crime in the area? No, it's really safe. The difference is the noise. Really? Is there a lot of noise? There are a lot of the weekend from the Italian restaurant downstairs. Oh, that's too bad. But the food at the restaurant is good. Is incredible, incredible. Uh, they were do like to have dinner there all on Saturday. Yes, I love Italian food. Thank you so much, the two of you. We have a few mistakes in pronunciation. Like it's incredible. Hey, would you like to have dinner there on Saturday? Yep, very good. Ronald, you are Barry, Ronald. Barry. And Evers, you are Alana. Evers, ready? Let's begin. How do you like your new apartment, Alana? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much traffic? Yeah, there's a lot. But I don't drive, so it's okay. Oh, that's right. Is there much crime in the area? No, it's pretty, it's pretty safe. The difference is the noise. Really? Is there a lot of noise? There's a lot of on the weekend from the Italian restaurant downstairs. Oh, that's the bad. But is the food at uh, the restaurant good? It's incredible. Hey, would you like to have dinner there on Saturday? Yes, I love Italian food. That was perfect. Thank you so much. Great In job. food. Page. Okay, we're going to move on with quantifiers. I want you to watch this video. Take notes. As you may see here, we have count nouns and non-count nouns, okay? So that means like, these are with, with non-count quantifiers and count nouns quantifier. Contables and no contables, right? 
Let's listen and watch. Hello to all of you. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give our answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot, a few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. Hello to all of you. In this session, we will... But let's take a look. As you may know, back in the days, we were working with count nouns and non-count nouns. We have these two questions, how many and how much. As you may remember, how much goes with non-count nouns and how many goes with count nouns. Los countables son los que podemos contar, right? Y los non-counts son los que no podemos contar. Yes, let's say, en algún sentido, right? Here we're going to have this vocabulary, a lot, a few, uh, many, any, and none. How many restaurants are there? There are 12 or 10, or 10 or 12. So restaurants is a countable now. Entonces, yo voy a ocupar how many with a countable now. Okay. So, here I have how much. How much crime is there? There's a lot of crime. So, if you notice, for example, en la conversation que teníamos acá, y si usted se fija, for example, acá tenemos is much traffic. So, traffic is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. 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 Very good. Exactly. Okay. So is it, yeah, there's a lot, but I don't drop. That's okay. Oh, that's right. Is there much crime? Okay. Crime is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. 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 So very, very good. It's almost with much. Okay. Oh yeah. This uh, is there a lot of noise? Okay. Uh, noise is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. 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 uncountable very good okay uh then we're gonna have the sub okay uh is the food at the restaurant good oh yeah i love italian food okay thank you so much so uh, these are the uncountable nouns and these are the ones that we are using here with how much yes we have these expressions when it comes to communicate the quantity right a lot much a little bit I'm sorry, a little, okay, poco, right? Much, see, aquí tenemos isn't, which is negative. No mucho, right? Isn't, any, and none, like quite the same. If you notice, however, however, the difference, this is how much, and this is with none count. And this is how many with countable nouns. Hey. Here we have this exercise, let's take a look. Read, Daniela, please, the information that is at the beginning, these one, two, three, and four uh, instructions or information. Okay, teacher. Um, use a lot with both count and no count nouns. Are there many traffic lines on First Avenue? Yes, there are a lot. Is there much traffic? Yes, there's a lot. Use any 
not known in negative statement means how much traffic is there on your street? There isn't any. There's none. Uh, use how many with count nouns. How many books do you have? Use how much with noun counts. With noun count nouns. How much traffic is there? Very good. So here, we're, basically, the main thing is to identify which uh, nouns goes with countable now, with, with how many, and which nouns goes with how much. Okay? How many goes with countable nouns, and how much goes with uncountable nouns. Yes? We're going to have this exercise here. As you may see, we have... Oh, we have a conversation. Well, some conversations like we're going to pick the correct option to complete the conversation. What is thing number one? Is there many or much traffic in your city? Much. Much. Much, much traffic much. in your city. Very good. Is there much traffic in your city? Well, there's a few. Well, there's a little. Well, there's a little. There's a little. A little. A little. Exactly. There's a little. Very good. What about conversation number two? Are there many Wi-Fi hotspots around here? Uh, there are many Wi-Fi hotspots around here. Okay, very good. Many. That is correct. Many. You see here, we have an S, right? In an S is telling you, oh, this is countable. Mm -hmm. and this is countable, right? So that means it's plural. Very good. What is what is the rest? No, there aren't. No, there aren't. No. No. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It's going to be many. Many, many. No, there aren't many. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. But, uh, many. Yes, so yeah. CI, right? But not not, not too many. Yeah, not too many. Very good. Uh, what about number three? How many how or many? how much? How many? How many? Okay. Very good. How many restaurants are there in your neighborhood? What is the correct answer? There are a lot. There are a lot. There are a lot. Exactly. Very good. There are a lot. Again, be careful with plurals. Right? Plurals and singular. Yes? Okay. What about the number four? How much? How much? How much noise? How much are there in your city? Is there? In oh, is city? there or are there? Are there. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. This is going to be, uh, is, is there? Is, is there? In your city. In your city. Oh, you see this one here? Noise. Noise is countable or uncountable? It's uncountable. Is, is uncountable. Entonces, según la tabla que está acá, esta que está acá, oh, Jesus, ¿dónde está? <coughs> Oh, aquí está. Ok. Cuando el, 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 el vocabulary o la palabra There's es... Very quick. De cuando la palabra es no count, noun, vamos a ocupar siempre este que está acá. Mire. Mire. Yes. Oh. Is. Sí, no hay plural ahí. ¿Ya? Porque como es, es no contable, right? Non count. Entonces vamos a ir always with is. Mire. Is. Is. Ahora aquí, aquí sí puedo ocupar R. Aquí sí puedo ocupar R porque yo puedo contar 10 restaurants or 12 restaurants. Entonces aquí, yes, I can use R in this one. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay. Uh, creo que se va a mover todo. I'm sorry. Es que la usura ya. Okay. Oopsie. Oopsie. Let me see this one. 
Aquí, aquí, here, here, here. Let me let me fix that. Here, okay. I, I think that's that's the only one. Okay. Oh yes. Okay. So, oh, how many? Oh, how much noise is there in your city? What is the correct answer? There's. No. There's much. There's much. Okay. Can you continue? Re There's continue? none. No. It's very good. Oh, there's no. none. Exactly, it's there is very none. Very quiet. Exactly, because at the end it says it's very quiet. So that means there is none. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, let me see, Liliana. <laughs> Hello, Liliana. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Please, lea la number one, number two. Y luego, Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa. Hello, good evening. Jenny, good usted va con la number three and la number four. Ready? Let's begin. Is there much traffic in your city where there's a few, a, a little? Are there many Wi-Fi hotspots around here? No, they aren't many. Hasta ahí, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, thank you. How many restaurants are there in your neighbor? There are a lot. How much noise is there in your city? There's no ears very cute. Quiet. 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 Very good. Okay. Quiet. So here, very good. Here on the top, yeah. Daniela was reading. Use a lot with both. Este lo vamos a ocupar con los dos. A lot with con and non-con nouns. Are there many traffic lights on First Avenue? Yes, there are a lot. Is there much traffic? Yes, there's a lot. In any, okay, not none, in negative statements. For example, uh, there isn't any. E there's none. With none, vamos con affirmative, okay? Yes? Any question about this? Any question about this, people? Yes or no? No question, teacher. Oh, wonderful. Give me a minute, please. Thank you. Okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, uh, let's begin. Let me see. Oh, Santos. Hello, Santos. Good evening. Santos. Hello, hello, Santos. Do you hear me? Hello. Please. Thank you. Uh, this question, how much? Goes um, with countable or uncountable nouns? Que le de, puede ser cualquiera de las dos. Oh, no, le pregunto si va con contables o no contables. Contable What? or uncountable nouns. How, mu how much? Este... How much ah, con los contables. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Pero es que estoy analizando porque estuve haciendo lo, del, lo de la plataforma. Ah, ok. No problem, no okay. problem. Okay. Yeah, how much and... Eh, how much Sí, porque me recuerdo que en los plurales era que en los singulares era que usaba el, el how much. Ok, yeah. just to be clear, Santos, el how much va con los non-count nouns. Ajá, sí, en los singulares, ¿verdad? Quiero decir en los no contables. Exactly, very good. Ajá. Ahí va, very good, ok. okay. Yes. Ok, Lee. Uh, Ajá. Deme una question con how much, please. Um... Oh, una pregunta, ¿verdad? Yes. Mm, <ríe> permítame, ver. La puedo pensar, sí. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Yes. Mi teacher. Okay, please go ahead, Juan. How much? How much this hat? How much? This hat, sombrero. Is this hat? Hat. Right. Like this one. 
how much is this hat? Exactly, very good, okay? ¿Por qué ocupamos how much here, Juan José? Porque está preguntando que cuánto vale o cuánto cuesta. Exactly, entonces, ¿a qué nos referimos? A los no contables. ¿Y cuál es el no contable aquí? Uh, how much. Oh, yes, but in, el object, el object, ¿cuál es el no contable? Uh, the the price. Oh, very good. Money. Oh, money. Yeah, yeah, money. Price. Entonces la palabra money es no contable, right? Ahora sí puedo contar los billetes, los bills y los coins. Eso sí lo puedo contar. Yeah. Yes. But in general, the context, very good Juan, is about money. So por eso ocupo how much is that hat? I'm sorry, how much is oh, this yeah. hat? Okay. Very good. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Thanks, thanks. Wonderful. And now how many? How many is the easiest one, right? How many goes with? Count. Count noun, right? Uh, nouns. Okay, I'm sorry. Count nouns. Okay. Yes? Give me a question with how many? Uh huh. Claudia? Um, how many? How many trees are there in the park? Very good. Very good. Okay. So if you see park, I mean trees, it's, it's a countable noun. So that means I can count 1, 20, and so on and so on. Okay. We're going to stop it here, people, because it's time to go to bed. Be nice, be kind, and we will see you tomorrow. Take care. Wonderful. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Good teacher. See you. Take care. Bye, teacher.